Thanks for that. 8.58 at the time, the stately home, which was the heart of fighter command during the Battle of Britain, opens as a museum today. Bentley Priory in northwest London was home of the female fire fighter controllers, known as affectionately as the Beauty Chorus. They were wartime members of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force and played a crucial role identifying and intercepting the Fwatha bombers. If there's one building which has come to symbolise the Battle of Britain, it is this 300-year-old mansion perched high above North London. Bentley Priory was the beating heart of fighter command, overseeing a period when all seemed lost, and yet the tide of threatened invasion was turned back. The best defence of this country is the fear of the fighter. From an office recreated for the new museum, one man coordinated that battle and fought his own government for more pilots and aircraft. Air Marshal Sir Hugh Dowding had delayed his retirement. Now his plans were tested to their limits. If Dowding was the one, his pilots were the few, then the men and women who worked in the filter room were the many. In shifts, day and night, they plotted the information coming in from the radar stations, from the observer corps, and passed it on to the squadrons. Without their speed and efficiency, Dowding's plan would never have worked. It just got very, very busy. All the girls lying across the table putting down the plots. The tellers, of course, working at a, a, a great speed. Had to be tremendously accurate. There, there was no, uh, uh, there was no room for any mistakes. And this beautiful room, Sir John Stone's Rotunda, is where we tell the story of the few. Erica Ferguson has been part of another battle, the successful campaign to save this historic building, and to tell the stories of those who grow fewer as the years slip by. I hope those who are battle Brit are Britain enthusiasts come away with an understanding of architecture and the wider local and social history of this house. And those who knew less about the Battle of Britain, I hope come away with a far greater understanding, really importantly, of the people involved. This museum is all about people and their stories. That's what's in its soul. And one story in particular, that of the man who watched victory unfold in the skies outside his window. I wish I could say all that is in my heart. I cannot hope to surpass the simple eloquence of the Prime Minister's words. Never before has so much been owed by so many to so few. Robert Hall, BBC News, at Bentley Priory. Ray Mears is going to be here with us shortly. Uh, first, the last.